everyone. So, I thought I would do a quick little video about things that you can do to make your day better, uh, make you feel better when you're down or anxious or anything like that. I was inspired to make this video by a wonderful woman named Anastasia Tassel, Tassou, T I'll link her blog and her Instagram and stuff down below. She's a really great artist. She makes kind of little drawings with different sayings on them. She just released a book called Better Every Day Book and it looks great. It, um, all I've seen so far is it has like there's a page that says things to make your day better or something and then there's a bunch of different um, ideas and so that's how I got inspired. So without further ado let's get into the list. These are 10 things that will help you hopefully feel better. And these are not in order of like what'll make you feel better the most, it's just kind of what came to my mind first. The first thing, watch your favorite TV show. This is something I've been doing a lot lately. Um, when I was younger I was obsessed with a show called Charmed. I don't know if any of you know what that is. It's a show about three sisters who are witches and they're good witches and they fight evil. And it's kind of what they deal with being human beings and being witches. So, it's a really cool show, it's got some funny parts, it's got some sad parts, it's just a really great show, and I've been watching it, binge watching it on Netflix, and it really makes me feel better. I, it, it, since it's such a family-oriented show, because there's so much about the three sisters, it makes me feel very, like, homey and loved, and plus it brings back memories from when I was younger. So, watching your favorite TV show, that is a good comfort, in my opinion. Number two, sing at the top of your lungs. Now this one, you don't have to be an amazing singer to do this, I am a terrible singer, but when I was going through a really rough patch in my life, I would go into my bathroom, turn on the fan so that it was, so that people outside couldn't hear me as much, which I don't know if that does anything or not, and I would just turn on Glee songs on Spotify, all the covers they did on Glee, and just belt them out. And it's a really good way to get out any tension that's in your body, because you're basically just yelling. So singing at the top of your lungs can be very therapeutic. And especially if it's a song that kind of relates to how you're feeling, it just really, it's like the music can put how you're feeling into words, and it's just, it's a really fun way to uh, relieve stress and get out any anxieties. Number three, write your thoughts down. Getting them out on the paper sometimes can clear your head of what's going on, because when so many things are going through your head, it's hard to kind of think, okay, I can, like, you. it's easy to get overwhelmed when everything is just going through your head so much so it's good to write it all down maybe journal or make a list and just write all the things that are in your head and just free writing just basically writing any thought that comes to your mind and that is an, a really simple but effective way to kind of just get all that tension out of you and get all those bad thoughts out of your head number four color recently there has been a rise in adult coloring books that sounds a little weird, but I just mean coloring books for adults. And this one is called the Mindfulness Coloring Book. And it's cool. It's got like different pages that you can color. Just different patterns and stuff. And just, I mean, you can do it in silence. You can turn on some music. I usually listen to music. You can just color and your mind is so focused on the detail of it that you kind of get taken out of the thought processes that are driving you insane. So I really think coloring is a cool way to relieve stress. And I'm glad it's kind of becoming a normal thing. Like Urban Outfitters, I was there earlier today. Urban Outfitters has a ton of coloring books in stock and they're really cool. And you can find them on Amazon or wherever. And yeah, I think I actually got that book from Urban Outfitters. But it's, coloring is a fun way to do it. It kind of brings you back to your childhood. Number five is new to me and it's exercise. Um, everyone has told me for years do light exercise, go walk, go for a walk, it'll help you, it'll help relieve the stress because it'll release endorphins in your brain and stuff, and I've always known that, but recently I've been really feeling the effects of it. Um, I've been going to the gym with my friend Dalton, who some of you may know, and it actually really does help. Like, I'll be super anxious before we go to the gym for whatever reason, sometimes it's just leaving the house makes me anxious, so I'll freak out, and then as soon as I get on that bike and start going, because I, I usually go on the stationary bike, um, as soon as I get on that bike and start going, listening to my music or MGK, who I've been listening to a lot lately, I've I just zone out, and it really does help, and kind of gets your blood pumping, and it kind of takes your mind off everything. So light exercise, I think, actually really, really does help. 
So you don't have to go to the gym, just go for a walk, which kind of leads into my next one, which is number six, go outside. Sometimes I have a fear of feeling trapped in places. Like if I feel like I can't leave, it freaks me out. So just stepping outside for a moment, looking up at the sky, breathing in the fresh air really does help me. Um, it makes me feel like, okay, the world is still running perfectly fine. I am fine. And I think just the fresh air really helps to clear your mind from being in like a stuffy room or a bad environment, wherever you are. Just take a step outside and, and further than that, go spend some time outside. You know, go to a park, read a book, um, go, I mean, it's winter, so swimming isn't really an option, but, you know, just go do something outside. And I don't do enough of that. I've been trying, and no, I haven't, I haven't been trying. But I do go outside, I step outside at least, which I think is, is progress. I'll take a step outside whenever I feel like I'm trapped somewhere. Number seven is do housework. Now this may sound really lame, but I was doing laundry earlier, I was folding laundry, and it was so therapeutic. Because I'm just so focused on like, okay, let me fold it perfectly, and then let me put, this, put it on the stack perfectly, and then put it all away perfectly. And it's just something to distract you. I think any kind of housework I know it sounds like lame because who likes doing housework but I think it really can be cathartic in a way um, so just doing the dishes vacuuming with some music dancing around while you're you know vacuuming I think can be can be a good thing number eight chat with a friend family member or your pet um, and I say your pet because sometimes I'll just be looking at my dog Toby and just be like how are you today I love you so much and I'll just be I love you I love you so much and it's just nice to have a little pet who loves you and you love them just as much. And then just talking to a friend or a family member, you know, getting your, your thoughts out of your head and sharing it with someone who can give you feedback on what's going on in your head or who's someone who just wants to listen. And I think it, it's a nice feeling to have to know that someone's there for you. So if you can, I would recommend talking to a friend or a family member. And if you don't have that, there's a lot of different places you can call to talk. And um, there's websites, Seven Cups of Tea I used to use, where you can talk about whatever's going on with you, and they'll be, they're counselors. I don't know if they're trained counselors, but they're counselors of some kind. And they'll, they'll listen, and they'll talk to you and give you advice, and that helps a lot. So talk to someone. Number nine, read a book. Books are just a whole nother world. You can just go into the separate world different from what's going on around you and it's really good distraction. I think we all know that what the effects of reading a book are and there it's good you know read something that you love some kind of genre that you love whether it's young adult um, you know divergent kind of stuff or stuff by Jason Myers who I love he wrote Exit Here um, which is a great book if you kind of like young adult who's dealing with like drugs and the craziness of being an adult, a young adult in the world and I like stuff like that. So books, reading can take you just away from your problems and just take you into a whole new world. And also some books, you know, like self-help books, those can be good too. They give you great advice. Sometimes the, they have um, affirmations in them that can help. So reading a book, good one. And last but not least, number 10 is sleep. Sometimes the best thing to do is just take a nap if you can. If it's late at night and you're up late, just try to go to sleep. Drink some, some chamomile tea maybe. Just go to sleep. Sometimes during the day, naps, a little 15-20 minute nap can kind of refresh you sometimes I think. And kind of gives you a break from whatever's going on. So sleeping is a good one. That is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped some of you. Um, if you have any more suggestions on things to do that make you feel better and make your day better, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!